I just got my brand new, okay, I'm doing a Vanna White here, DJI Mini 3 Pro. It just came in two months to actually get this sucker. But it is time for the installation of the firmware and total setup. I just took this out of this box. So I'm gonna do a nice little video here for you on this beautiful drone. And I'm gonna set things up so that you can see things. I see people hold the controller, all this stuff. So I thought it would be wise to um, put this like this so that you guys can see things really, really clearly. So you get this controller, and I got the one that is with the screen in it because I really like the um, conversations about the brightness and the, the ease of use versus um, coordinating with the app and your cell phone on the top of the clip in. Boom, bada, bing, here's the granddaddy with a beautiful screen that's really good in brightness. So the beginning of this whole thing is you take the sticks out from the back, you put them in. The focus of this video is really to get the firmware going. So let's just dive into it. You just turn the sucker on and boom. There you go. It's blue, it's blinking, and here we go. Check that out. Oh, I love that symbol. That's like, I wonder how many people have gotten that as a tattoo, because that is pretty cool. So it's lighting up, and I first charged these things. I put them both on USB-C, and I um, connected everything. You get a little uh, message here. First thing is to explain, um, you know, where you are. So this is really important, uh, you know, where you are and, uh, you know, what language you speak or it's going to cause problems. I don't know why my DJI Osmo pocket changes to other um, languages and stuff like that. But anyway, here's, here it is. You just agree, giving away your firstborn, your house, everything they own you. You have no, you have no rights with nothing, but um, we'll look after you. Okay, boom, bada big. That was a joke, by the way. Um, and so now you got to go through here and look, and since I'm in Canada, oh yeah, you can sing it if you want. Oh, Canada, we got a drone today. That's a song I'm just uh, coming up with here. So next, now you want to add your network and boom, bada bing, click OK, and it's going to connect to Wi-Fi. That's what's going to make this possible so that you can actually uh, get, do the firmware updates on this beautiful, beautiful device. Because if you don't, um, I've read many things that... Um, you will not get the function. So if you just went out and flew this right away, it would be missing a whole bunch of stuff. So you don't want to do that. Um, so now you got to change the time zone. This time zone, all this stuff's really important because you're going to be connecting to satellites and, uh, you know, there's going to be geo information and location information and connect to all the laws. So you want to change this to your time zone. So I'm here in Toronto. And it is. This is Toronto. Just make sure. I'm used to seeing the Toronto. So now we got to log in with our DGI based information, and you should all have an account. All right, let's see if this works. Login successful, activate the device. Your device info will be linked to this account and serve as proof of warranty. Continue, oh yeah. Join our product improvement project. Um, I'm gonna go, not now. Welcome to our guide. All right, let's start. So. Swipe horizontally from the edge of the screen to return to the previous screen. Okay, boom. Left dial, right dial. We, there it is, right? We know that. Um, we got the shutter, base buttons uh, down below, um, which are up here and here. Shutter half, autofocus, and press record the video. That's so neat. We got um, return to home, RTH. You got a break switch flight modes like this return to home is really good but remember it doesn't always go to the right spot there's wind and variances so always make sure and stop it break it before it goes but brakes really cool if you're going really fast um, then you can just brake and full stop some people just let off their sticks but that's uh, another tip right there um, c1 and c2 these are customizable at the bottom which are really cool on the bottom of the unit um, which you'll want to do that and uh, to your peripheral indifference which we'll cover in another video and um, so See it's blinking blue up here, solid red, it's not connected, aircraft connected is green, firmware update failed, which that's what we're trying to do here, but we're trying to get through this quick for you guys. And now it's blinking, uh, sticks not centered, blue is link, uh, linking with the aircraft, low battery warning, yellow, which it has nothing on it, blinks red. Right now it's, it's just blue linking with aircraft, we got to do that. So it's not on yet, right? I haven't turned the beautiful drone back here on, which I will do shortly. And... Adjust antennas, uh, position regularly when controlling aircraft to make sure the aircraft is always with optimal transition. So I guess you can point the, the head of it to it as it's going. It's always good. And remember, obstructions are your enemy with regards to buildings and things, but people do get around these things, um, which are good. So here we go. 
go to DJI Fly. All right. Oh yeah, you dance. Ooh, ooh. Da, 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 da. Come on, you gotta watch these. DJI videos are great. I, I absolutely love them. They're super fun. I uh, really get you inspired to the things. I, I'm a big DJI fan. Their gimbals are just amazing. So we're gonna do some updates. So collecting this and uh, collects the following information to ensure normal and related. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, guys, go ahead, join. I guess we will now, so let's so leave it. So, so Okay, so this academy, it's very helpful for new users and stuff. I totally suggest that you go through this and, um, you know, uh, you know, watch a whole bunch. How do I fly the aircraft? Where should I go uh, for my first flight? How do I fit? You know, all these things, super important. Um, connection guide. If you already uh, have a D, uh, DJI aircraft, follow our instruction to explore a whole new world. Okay. So here we go. This is the Academy. And now, so I guess, I'm, I guess we should just, uh, this is like a, a pre-screen. This is what you would get in your app, but you want to go for the connection guide and now we want to connect. So next we will show you how to connect your aircraft to, and fly for the first time. So the other thing was kind of like a replica of the app on your phone. And now you got to go in and actually get to the controller area. So connection activation and high safe. So move, unfold this. So I'm going to now pull this back. So I planned this beautiful, uh, let me see if I can even turn down the exposure here just a bit to push that back, bring this guy, bring this back. So essentially now the uh, focus is going to be a little bit off, but I will do this so you guys can see. All right. All right. All right. Maybe even up the thing a bit more. So we're going to take this beautiful drone here. I'm going to get this out of the way. This is hilarious. What am I doing? Um, but it's not going to take off. So you just press unfold. You, you unfolded the uh, arms, which you should know how to do. Um, just, I'm just banging through this for you. You just fold them out sort of thing. Okay. And I haven't put a uh, SD card into the back here yet, um, but that is where it goes. And you put that sucker in. So you just take this and you press the back here. Where's that first and second? There we go. Now, it's awake. Okay, so now that we turned this on and the green light's on it, the, 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 the propellers don't spin or anything like that, um, but then this activated and then it saw it, so you go agree. And we're trying to get to the point where we can get this register. So it's registering with the DJI uh, based uh, server and setting up your account and linking all the serial codes and everything like that. Um, and then we got to get to the point where, and it's doing a couple uh, little things with regards to the drone. And uh, it'll just continue on here. Uh, and it takes a little bit. So let's just let it go through its motions. Okay, so now you got the uh, go fly. So now we got to do the update. You can see that here. So we're going to do the update, the uh, fly database. This is for geographic stuff. The, the fly safe database helps ensure that DJI um, operates in accordance with relevant local laws. So this is the thing that stops you. You need this installed. So you're going to update that and it's going to go through a update for the device, which I'm going to put this drone back here now, now that it's just ready to turn some wings and stuff like that. Just sharpen up the video there for you. Okay. Update uh, complete. Boom. And X that out. Really nice uh, uh, level thing. Uh, so now let's go and get the. So it's locating it, and we're going to go go fly. Aircraft unable to take off. Firmware update required. So it's it's telling us that's fantastic. So I was going to go into the settings, but let's do that first. So now it's all about the update to the 1.00.02201, and it's um, a certain amount of information. We're going to go update. And away we go. We're going to let that go now. And now it's restarting. So let's see what she does. I haven't taken the front cap off of the, uh, the drone. Maybe I should just take this off. It's probably a good thing. There we go. Take this and then there's some padding in there. And, um, there's some other things here, but I'll leave that on for now. But Let's just put that just in case it wants to do some stuff. Might want to do some adjustment. 
Okay, initializing resources. Boom, bada, bing. Getting everything aligned. Checking out, yeah, I guess it was a good thing that I took that cap off just in time. Um, I probably should take the stickers off around the lenses, but I, I think it, it's not interruptive and it's not blocking anything for the gimbal. So now we got all this. I'm 95% initializing remote controller firmware, which is great news. Okay, so I just calibrated and I just switched over to this mode, but essentially I wanna tell you that you gotta put a SD card in the back of the drone, right there. You put it in upside down and you put it in a little mini SD in the drone. They ask, you know what's better, in the drone or in the controller? In the drone, you get better resolution putting it in there. And I went with a SanDisk Extreme, like a 512 gig, fantastic for under hundred bucks from Amazon. I'll put it in the links below. But essentially, um, it's all ready to go. Uh, you can take off with caution if I wanted to, but we're not gonna. But when you get back to this, this main screen here, you're gonna wanna go to, the, to these three buttons here and make sure on the last page that your updates are done. You just click on the updates. It'll check to make sure that it's firmware's up to date and firmware's up to date. That's basically Okay, it's time to update your DJI Mini 3 Pro. What do you gotta do? You turn both things on, that's number one. As Soon as it's on, you'll see the screen here. And you want to go, you think, you think that you go to the, um, your, your, your go fly cont, um, content and the three dots and all the peripherals to check for updates, but you don't. You go to your profile here, you can go here, and then you can just drag down. Actually, you can drag down anywhere, and you just, this is where it's going to reveal your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings. So you click on Wi-Fi so it can check your home settings. It's going to, it's going, huh? So let's do it again. Turned on. So... Let's go, and we gotta connect. And you see there's, oh, there it is. So it sees that my, um, it's now connected. You can see the green lights on there, you know, and uh, it's connected to my home network, and away you go. So now that that's connected, now you can go back to your main screen. Sometimes these uh, things go, yes, I do wanna you go to go fly. Now that's connected, and these three dots up here, you connect. And now when you go to the About tab, which is the fifth one in from the right, you can see Check for Updates. And right now we're dealing with the 01000201, and you can just go Check for Updates on this, and you, it'll do that, pop. If you do this and you're not connected, it will say you're not connected to the network, and then you have to go back out and swipe down and go into that area and set up everything. So you want to do it, let's, let's update. And here we go. It's telling you that there's at this with this version uh, 0300. It's about 209 megs. No big deal. Again, your DJI drone will heat up. That's why these vents are here. They cools when it flies. So don't worry about the heat. But that's a natural thing that this is hot. And make sure that these things are both at full power. Um, remember, this thing does go in like over 30 minutes. Um, so with this one, you get increase the camera tilt angle when shooting in panorama for better imaging of the sky, increase the stability of videos when using hyperlapse. So that's the one that I really want because I want to do some more night um, hyperlapse of moving my drone and doing overtime um, uh, interval shooting. So just click update and it will go. So yeah, really just make sure that uh, it's everything's fully charged and just let it run and I'll just speed this video up to continue to the next uh, area to update. And so this can happen actually. So maybe you want to run a fan because it's sitting for an extended power, time of power. So this, um, we might want to have to redo this again. So yeah, it's really super hot. So if you run into this, I'd recommend running a fan or doing this um, outdoors actually in the cool air. So this is all I did is I just added a fan here. So as I was doing the video uh, to keep it cool. All right, this time I got the fan on just there. So it's blowing cool air. So you probably hear it, but I'm just gonna go into my profile here, go through this setting, go device management this way instead of through the app and whatnot. Sorry, go through the um, uh, settings here. And in the firmware update, just check for updates. It'll check, I'll go update, and I'll try install now. See, oh, so it's continuing off at the 40%. So that's a good thing. At least it doesn't have to repackage the packet. It is actually compiling it into a package over here. And you can see the blinking lights on the drone. So it's going. So let's hope that it continues um, before it, it's too hot again and whatnot. It does feel a lot cooler. And this fan that's running in this direction is probably a good tip. 
for you um, so that it can get in the air vents. Because as it sits, it really heats up. That's just a, you'll read it on other, or uh, view it on other forums that they say that that's a, that's a natural thing that happens. And that's why these cooling vents, when it flies, actually cools down the engine. So we're at 57% um, here, let's let it go. Boom, and there it is. Firmware updated successfully. Restart if aircraft powers off. So let's do this. Let's go back and check. Just make sure we're gonna power up the aircraft again. Make sure everything's cool, let it, let it wake up. Almost sounds like a Windows startup, doesn't it? Isn't that weird? Anyway, so we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna check the for firmware updates. It's checking. Everything, oh, what did it say? Your firmware is up to date. So now check the fly safe database. I like to do that second also, just to make sure the database is up to date. And that's basically it. So yeah, use a fan, it helps. It didn't, um, it heated up too much without having some wind blow. Um, I've never seen anyone recommend that, but um, this uh, 0.0 uh, or 0300, it's now available as of August, 2022. And it helps with a lot of various things like um, stabilization of footage when using hyperlapse. There was some flickering in S or um, uh, Cinetone based stuff. Um, there, there's added support for active track and portrait mode and whatnot. Um, anyway, I hope you got some value out of this. If you uh, found some value, please remember to subscribe, leave some comments below, and I'll see if I can help you because I love this drone. Here, I'll end this video with this cool uh, drone shot that I just did. Bye for now, and I'll see you in another video.